her so much that I started picking up joke books as soon as I could read. It was her funny bone, after all. <laughs> I had to live up to the name. Oh, oh, I am so proud. And even though she was a single mom taking care of a little monster kid, she still framed hard and helped others as the royal guard gets stronger every day. Mom and I only had each other, and sometimes I got lonely when she was away. On those days, I'd ask if I had a dad. She would always answer with a smile. Sansa! You have a father, and I know he loves you very much. Someday, I'm sure you two will meet. But until then, know that I am always here for you. And then one day, both of our lives totally changed when Mom came home with a little bundle of bones. There's my little funny bone. I have someone I want you to meet, Sans. Say hello to your little brother, Papyrus. Yeah? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, sounds like someone wants their big brother. Would you like to hold him, Sans? Papyrus. I was so nervous my bones were rattling. It was so smell. I thought if I moved even an inch, he would turn to dust or start wailing. <laughs> hey there, Papyrus! My name's Sands! I'm your big bro! D don't worry, I gotcha! But instead, Pap smiled at me. Like I've never seen anyone smile before. Just like that, the fear went away. That's my little good little bro. And just like that, Pap and I were just stuck together like glue. I still remember how I felt that day. It was like a... Oh, I've been filled in. <laughs> All of the loneliness I felt went away. And all I care about, one moment on, was to that smile again. The three of us were so happy together. Even without a father, we were a perfect family. But as I've learned but since as I've then, learned since then, nothing can stay the same forever. forever.